Hello everyone, my name's Emily. I'm a dietitian and this is everything we bought this week with grocery shopping. So for grocery shopping, my partner and I typically split it up. I will go to to Costco and Aldi and he'll do Jewel and Cermak. Today, we and we always base our groceries off of kind of staples that we have on hand at all times and then we plan out our meals for every week. Um, deciding who's going to cook when and specifically what meals so we know exactly what we're going to cook. So let's start off with more of the condiments. From Costco, we always get our olive oil from there. This hefty guy, two liters. Um, big fan there. None of this is sponsored by the way. This is just what we tend to buy. This is large and in charge ranch. <laughs> I typically do condiments from Aldi, but sometimes Costco as well, depending specifically on what condiment it is. I was comparing the prices and Costco and Aldi are pretty comparable. So we will not run out of this for a while. Do a lot of Asian inspired recipes. So we needed to restock on our soy sauce. I always do reduced sodium because we're a little sensitive to salt, just not like it affects us, but just from a taste standpoint. This week we're making some Greek chicken, so we had to get some olives, some Kalamata olives. I always prefer them hidden so you don't have to worry about cutting each of them and cutting out the seeds and not getting surprised when you bite down and actually bite a seed. We got some more chest, this wood, and these were soy sauce was from Aldi, our Kalamata olives and Worcester, 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 no one can say that word. It's also from Jewel. I am a huge fan of all these spring mix. I don't like to wash greens as we have a head of lettuce right here, but I do not enjoy it. This is super easy for salads, just to like pull from. Um, it lasts you a bit of time. We're gonna make some chicken salad this week. I'll like pair it on top of bread or lettuce. And I prefer red grapes in my chicken salad because they're a little bit sweeter. The green grapes are a little bit too tart for chicken salad in my opinion. We got this from Aldi. It was a little bit more expensive. The green grapes were on sale, but it was a taste preference at this point. We got some Dijon. I think we're using this in, I think we're using it in the Greek salad recipe, chicken, the Greek, the Greek chicken recipe and the chicken salad recipe. We'll use some of this and we don't really use a lot of this. So we got a small one from Aldi. Classic cherry tomatoes, we're using this on everything. Sheet pan meals, salads, probably every entree has tomatoes in some way. Um, the cherry tomatoes are just nice because well, some of these were not going to cut them or whatnot, so we could just throw them on. We got some more tomatoes. I don't know what this is for. This is from Jewel. My partner picked it up, but a staple and canned goods last so, for so long, so we're good. This is my favorite party fowl. This is my favorite sourdough bread. I'm still so upset that none of the Aldi's I've been to in probably the past six to eight months have had the everything but the bagel seasoning sourdough. Aldi, if you're listening, why in the Chicago area do we no longer have this product? My friend Hannah, she's in Indiana, I know they have it still. You can't just introduce something to us and then take it away. Um, but their normal sourdough is also very good. We have some eggs from Costco. I always like to get our eggs from Costco because just from a price standpoint and then how many you get, there's 24 in here. So that's gonna last us a really long time. Additionally, we are going to be making some copycat crunch wrap supreme recipes this week. So we got some very important tortillas. Whoa! <laughs> Hurricane Katrina! 
More like Hurricane Tortilla. For, um, for those, of course. <laughs> On the grocery list. Oh, and nuts from Jewel. On the grocery list, I put two stalks of celery, and I was reminded you cannot just buy two stalks of celery. This is a small, so have this is gonna be for chickens salad, so there just might be a lot of celery in there. But also super easy to just dip this in peanut butter for a snack. We have some lettuce, as I talked about hating washing lettuce. Um, my partner will be using this, so he'll probably be washing it, not me. Um, I think this is for our Crunchwrap Supreme copycat recipe. We have a red onion, also from Jewel. Produce is something that you kind of have to like look around for and just the more you familiarize yourself with how much it costs, you'll be able to identify those deals a little bit better. I like to look online or receive weekly ads from like Costco, Aldi, and Jewel just so I can compare ahead of time. Um, so sometimes we'll get our produce from like Aldi or Jewel or Cermak. Um, it just kind of depends specifically what we're looking for. But we have a red onion, classic. And then also for our Greek chicken recipe, we needed a bell pepper. And I, feel, I felt like going with a nice yellow one. This is very pretty. This looks a very nice looking bell pepper. She's cute. Also from Jewel. And then, oh, we have another onion. We have a yellow onion. We typically have red and yellow onions on hand at all times. Also very cute. Also from Jewel. Assume this is gonna be one of my partner's recipes because I don't think I asked for that. And then, also from Jewel, we did most of our produce at shopping at Jewel today. We have a little cute, little cute guy. Um, what is this for? This is gonna be for our Greek chicken sheet pan meal. Very excited for. And then we have some ground, br ground beef. Ground beef. We typically keep, I really like the big packages of um, Costco's chicken that like come in like six packs. We freeze those and then we just thaw them for like 24, 48 hours in the fridge before we use them. So we'll, we'll typically have that on hand more so for our meat, but we'll have ground beef a lot of it. We'll freeze it, but we're using this for a couple of recipes. So we'll leave this in the fridge and we're gonna leave this far away from all the food because food safety, no E. coli for us, please. And then we have just a couple other items. Your classic feta, you can add this to everything. I think feta, feta and goat cheese are tied for my favorite cheese. I think the winner is gonna have to be goat cheese, but feta I could eat with literally everything. Once again, this is gonna be for our Greek chicken recipe. This was from Jewel and super easy to just get a bunch. Make sure you check the expiration date though. We don't want anything going bad quickly. Um, this is one of our fun items. Some queso, some salsa con queso from Pace. And this is gonna be for our copycat Crunchwrap Supreme recipes. Okay, I was like, what is this fourth recipe we're making? We're pork making porcupine noodles as well this week too. So I bet onions for that. I'm thinking about it. I don't know what else goes into that, but that's my partner's deal. He'll handle all that. But we got some queso. I'm very excited for this. And it's medium because we like things a little bit, a little bit hotter. And then this <laughs> from Jewel. This was a special purchase. It's Vita's Wild Herring and Wine Sauce. Apparently it's typically $9. My partner said it was three, so we love 66% off. What a deal. Um, and this is from Jewel. I don't know if I'd really like this. I don't know if I've ever tried this, but to each their own. So that's the haul this week. I, I could definitely calc calculate this all out. I'll tell you how much we spent 
after I can, cause I don't know the price right now, I will leave the price right here. This is how much our weekly haul cost for the week. And it will definitely kind of differ based off of if we buy the staples again, like the eggs, olive oil, ranch, soy sauce, like the condiments more so. We aren't buying that every week. It's more of like a, what we run out, which is these can last us, this will probably last us for months. Um, but that's kind of what a typical grocery haul will look like. Lots of different things. I know that you probably heard that we go to like three to four grocery stores and you're like, oh my gosh, how can I do that? I, one, splitting it helps a lot. Splitting it helps a lot. So if you're by yourself, I would probably not go to four grocery stores. That sounds like way too much work. Um, I think the biggest thing is just kind of knowing where to go for certain items, what's going to be cheaper where, and then, yeah. Making a grocery list as well. I never go into a store. Well, that's not true. That's a lie. I, the only store I think I'll ever go into without a list is Trader Joe's, and that's where we're. We are going there solely based off of vibes, nothing else. But the grocery list makes it so much easier, so much quicker. Obviously, there were a couple items that we deterred from the list, but like we went in with a pretty good idea of what to look for. So. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you thought, what you're cooking this week, any of your grocery shopping tips. And yeah, I'll continue to share with you and keep giving you my grocery shopping tips. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Bobby told me I wore this vest to go grocery shopping and I felt very suburban dad and Bobby said that. That's, I give off big suburban dad energy. I'm not sure how to take that, but he said they're unstoppable. Whether that's a good or a bad thing, so I don't know. I'm sweating, oh my gosh.